So in our last video, we finished off the surface of our part, and this is now where we want it to be. We cut to a depth of 72 thousandths, but really this is going to be the top of our part moving forward. So we want to zero that to 72. Yep. So that's where we're good. So we're done with the Z-X at this point. We're going to start our machine. We never want to start the machine or stop the machine touching the material. So we're free of the material right now. We're going to go ahead and start the machine. And now what we need to do is we need to set up our depth for the cut on the z-axis and then we need to touch off our x-axis so we know how to make that cut. So let's go ahead and set our depth. We want to go to a depth of 0.75, so 750,000. 0.75. You can see the bit is now moving down into where we want to do the cut. It's going to be a lot further. And Mark is pointing with his not real finger. You're, so keep on going. You're 10% of the way. Now you're, when you're turning this knob, you're lifting this entire table. So it's not easy to turn that handle. That's why we let Haley do it because she's stronger than we are. And then when we get close to the 0.75, now we can get it adjusted so it's almost exactly right. Let's get that right on there. Because since we're not touching the material, we can adjust that. So that's exactly right. We're within 10 thousandths of the dimension that we want. On our y-axis, again, we want to make sure that our bit is in the middle of that part. Because remember, we don't want to be on the edges. We want to be right in the middle. So is that good there on our y? Perfect. Center. <laughs> now that mark, you can see that we're in the center. Now we're, gonna, we're not going to try to do both at the same time. So we're going to move our x axis until we can hear or see that contact. Good. So that's going to be our zero on our x axis. And then we're going to do relatively small cuts to start off with. We're going to do our cuts on the y axis. So we can run in and out on the Y. Go ahead and run it in and out on the Y, Haley. So that just took off the surface of the part. And then as we go through, we're going to move over somewhere around, you say, 20 thousandths. So we're going to move into the part 20 thousandths. So go, there, hey. there, that's, that's 27 thousandths, so that's okay. We can make that pass. And once we're all the way through, we can move again in another 20 thou. That's good. It doesn't have to be exact. And Haley, if you keep your right arm over there on that handle, you're going to remember which way is correct and which <laughs> way is not. It's, it's hard to get your brain to mark two directions at once. Yeah. yeah. The other thing that's important to remember is if we go all the way through on that y-axis, we're not touching the part. So if we go a little too far, a little too shallow, we can always adjust it on that x-axis before we make the cut. We're already at the depth that we want in the z, so we don't have to worry about the z right now. It's drifted a little bit, but it's only drifted by two ten thousandths of an inch. Not enough for us to measure. We're not for us to worry about. I'm watching a video in class, and they said that, that was a distance of measure represented by an expletive. <laughs> and, and on our imaginary drawing, Haley, what's our final dimension at x? It's a 0.5. 0.5. Yes. So a lot of your cuts are going to be that half of an inch, 500 thou, 0.5 inches. Try not to let the lingo confuse you. Make sure you bring your drawing to class. <laughs> you can tell how you're more confident in her cuts as she goes back and forth. At 20 thou a cut, you want to get to 500 thou. It's a lot of cuts. Is that 25 cuts? 25 passes? Yeah. Again, that's why we're letting Haley wear out her elbows. And you can see as the chips are coming off of this, as we're doing our cuts, we make sure we have our protective gear. We've got our long pants. We've got closed toe shoes. We've got eyewear. We're not wearing gloves here, but we're also not interfacing with our hands on any of the parts that we're cutting.
Remember, you can set that final dimension out in the air, away from the part. Get it right on. And then engage the part. There you go. Good job. Ripped it off a little bit there, but that's it. So that is one side of your team's cube. And then once you're again clear of the part, we can come back in, turn our machine off. And then once everything has stopped moving, then we can remove our chips, not with our fingers. And we can take out our part. And again, we've got a couple of burrs there, so be careful with those. And we've got a nice cut here. We can even check our work. Almost exactly, 0.4955, and you create 0.499 on the depth, and then here, 0.753. Probably not exactly right because there's some roughness there. Awesome.